So welcome, welcome to Tel Aviv. The, uh, we are just outside the press center out, and just after midnight it is, you'd think it'd be quite windy and chilly. It's incredibly warm here, I'm not complaining. When you're talking to someone like me who's from the UK, all we expect is wind and rain 24 seven, even in the summertime. That's probably me being a bit too harsh, but that's that's my weather for you, uh, compared to some of you who are, of course, watching from Spain. So welcome to ESC Plus on YouTube. Just a quick reaction to the uh, jury semi-final one, just a bit more of an insight of what we saw. Um, straight away, probably the weakest out of the two semi-finals in terms of the lineup. that's what everyone's been saying. I can kind of see why. I, I mean, we had, the, of course, we don't have Netherlands in this one. Uh, you know, some of the favourites are not really in the first semi-final which if I'm right the, the in terms of the facts ever since the semi-finals were introduced uh, in the from from 2004 uh, every every song has won who would won in semi-final one had gone on to win the grand final as well so it might be different this year who knows if I might be right I might be wrong on that fact I'm not sure uh, but of course uh, over the over the next few days we will learn more about these acts on who's got the potential of basically getting the chance to get their hands on the crown i think there's a few there's one or two songs tonight who i think have got a good chance in my eyes i think greece might have actually won this semi-final uh greece were second from last just before san marino and um, you know katarina duska has done i think has nailed it really the staging is great uh, the song it's not a winning song but i think it is and i think she's been given the opportunity to win this semi-final lineup uh, as I mentioned, the lineup's just not the best out of the two, and I think that might give her the win. Uh, the ones I expect to go out, I think it's not really a big surprise, but in terms of the big name status, it's Darude from Finland. Uh, I really hate to say it, I love Darude. I think he's, I think he's great. Um, you know, I, I I grew up with Darude, especially with his song Sandstorm from 1999. It's still a song everyone listens to to this day in any club you can think of in and around Europe, and maybe even overseas in in Africa and America, etc. But it, it, I just feel like with the staging for this, you don't really see Drood enough, and I think that needs to be highlighted more. Uh, Sebastian Rayman, I'm, I, I, I think he's great as well. He's a great singer. But I just it, there's something about this song where you feel like you're waiting for something to happen, but it's just it just doesn't happen in that three minutes. So sadly, I think Finland won't make it. My fingers are crossed on Estonia to make it with Victor Krohn. There's still one or two things that they're still working on with the last bit of the staging uh, with this. Uh, graphics like the use of him in the lightning storm which is really cool when it works but if it doesn't if it doesn't work it's going to look really bad in front of a live audience especially when we have the live tv audience on tuesday night um so yeah i, I think for me it's all about can estonia make it i think it's hit and miss finland i just feel like it's going to be forgotten in the lineup as it's third in the running order greece for me will win the semi-final belarus i think is something the fans really want to see win uh, sorry, it's in at least make the final. It's hit and miss with that one, as you saw in our live stream. Um, so it's 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 quite an interesting semi-final. It's not the most exciting lineup compared to semi-final two, as I mentioned, but it really is. It really could be anyone's, and we could have one or two twists or turns um, come Tuesday night. Anyway, let us know what you think below in the comments, and uh, of course, feel free to put your top ten. Who do you think will win semi-final one, and who do you think will qualify, and who do you think will miss out? Uh, on the grand final. Feel free to comment them below and subscribe to ESC Plus. Thank you for watching. It's good night from Tel Aviv.